My name is Tim Lupo, and welcome to my first tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install OpenCV for Mac OS X. The first thing you're going to want to do is open the two links down in the description below. The first one is for OpenCV. OpenCV is the library that you're trying to install, so you're going to want to select the latest version. In my case, it's 2.4.9. I can't guarantee this will work for every version, but I'm pretty certain it will. Download it for Linux or Mac, and then move to Mac ports. You want to download your respective operating system of Mac ports. For me, it's OS X Yosemite. Once that's complete, you can check your downloads, and you'll see a package and a folder. The package is for Mac ports. You're going to want to go through and install Mac ports. I've already done it, so I don't need to. The next thing you're going to want to do is move your OpenCV folder to a permanent location. After you move your OpenCV folder and start building, you're not going to want to change the location of it because then it might mess up your previous projects that have been referencing that specific point. So you're going to want to drag that to a safe folder. For me, I put it in my YouTube Tutorials OpenCV. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that MacPorts was properly installed. To do that, you're going to want to go into Terminal and type Port. If you get that, that means it's successfully installed, so you're going to want to close out and reopen terminal. Now let's get started on our command line. The first thing we're going to have to do is move to the directory in which we put our OpenCV folder. In my case, it's in YouTube, Tutorials, OpenCV, and it's right here. We're going to need to move into here in terminal. To do this in, ter in terminal, uh, you're going to want to use ls. ls means list. It lists all your different folders. For example, ls, it lists all the folders in Timmy, and you can see right here they coordinate. To change the directory into one of these folders, you do cd space whatever. So c in my case, it's in the YouTube folder, so I changed my directory to YouTube. Now from here I could tell it goes to tutorials OpenCV and OpenCV 2.4.9. But if I wasn't sure, or if I had multiple folders and I wanted to know, I could simply type ls again, and it'll give me the folders that are in there. So I'm going to change my directory to tutorials, change my directory to opencv, change my directory to opencv 2.4.9. Now, in terminal, I'm in here. So I'm ready to begin my command line. The first thing we're going to want to do is make a directory or a folder called build. So if I do mkdir make directory named build. That creates a folder or directory named build. Next thing you're going to want to do is change to that directly, directory build. If I list again here, you can see this is everything in the OpenCV folder, and build is right here. We're going to want to change to that directory so we could build more stuff inside of build. Last thing we're going to do in here is cmake-g Unix make files. Unix make files dot dot. Basically, what this does is it creates the foundation for OpenCV, which we'll be installing after this finishes. Once that's finished, we could see that a lot of stuff was added to our build folder. However, it's not finished. The next thing we're going to need to do is type make dash j8. What this will do is it'll make more OpenCV libraries inside that, that we can then reference inside of Xcode to make uh, OpenCV projects. At this point, the only thing left to do is to build the physical .dilib files that you will use in Xcode. To do this, type sudo make install, as I just did, and enter in your password. Once you're done with that, hit enter, and it'll build all the files. At this point, OpenCV is finished installing. 
you look in your build folder, you now have all of this. If you look through it, in libraries, there are all these .dialib files, which are frameworks. We'll be using these frameworks in the next video, where we put OpenCV in Xcode and actually get started programming. After that, I'll be show sure to show you some tips and tricks of how to get started and how to make an awesome app. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.